it's Miss Dandelay. I'm going to read you a story, but first, this is reading with Ruby. This is Ruby. She is not quite three months old. She's a chocolate lab. I'm going to say hi, Ruby. Um, so she's just a baby, and we are going to read the book, The Word Collector. The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome? What did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. See, he's writing down the word Peru. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read, like emerald in the Wizard of Oz. Certain words popped off the page. Spark, bloom, drift, dream, two-syllable treats, treasure, motif, whisper, glimmer, hover, candid, and multi-syllable words sounded like little songs, kaleidoscope, guacamole, geometry, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Tyrannosaurus rex, molasses, torrential, smudge, bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. And one day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections became jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Savor, dreams, cascading stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words like molecule and peace and harmony. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about collecting words from the breeze.
Jerome had no words to describe how happy it made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. From Peter Hamilton Reynolds. The end.